guys, my name is Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a video that I haven't done before. Now, I made a video about what I hate about every sign and you can find those in my channel and I actually did them about two years ago where I just went through every sign and gave you five to six minutes of an earful of what I personally hate about your sun sign. So it makes absolutely no sense why I never compiled and condensed it into one video so that you can't be like, oh my God, you just love Leos and you just love Libras and you hate Virgos and you hate Aquariuses and I can't believe you hate Cancers the most and I thought you really hated Capricorns. Why are you saying nice things about us? And I'm like, fuck y'all, man. I hate everybody. I love everybody. I'm a Libra. It's what I do. And you're going to be like, what is this like bitch on her period or what? Well, joke's on you because I am on my period. So let's start out. We'll just go through Aries through Pisces so that if you don't know anything about the Zodiac, I am going in order of youngest to oldest. Little things about Zodiac tidbits I will give you on my channel if you subscribe. Aries. Aries, I hate you because in the beginning there was nothing and you came out like a fucking caveman. Impatient is all shit. I could have a conversation with you about why the earth is round and I could throw out facts, logic, statistics, personal experiences, and you'll be like, oh no. The earth is flat because I said so. Because I know, because it is. And then you'll see them a couple days later, I mean they'll be like, so Alyssa. Remember that conversation you had where you were 100% sure that the earth was flat? And I was like, no, bitch, the earth is round. And I'm like, fuck you all, man. Taurus, try to get a Taurus to talk is so difficult. Do you want to talk about this? No, I don't want to talk about this. Do you want to watch this movie? No, I don't want to watch this movie. Do you want to do this? No, I don't want to do that. And then you fucking get them talking about something. They're like, you don't want to talk about? I want to talk about how green the grass is outside. And they won't shut up. They're like a steamroller. Like, and you're like, dude, okay, I gotta go. I got someone on the other line. Can't even get a word in edgewise because. Like, do you take a breath? Gemini. I'm calling I think that's rude to put liar on a sign. We all have a choice. But the problem with Gemini, I don't know whether you're a storyteller or an exaggerator, or you really do black out after you say something and you don't remember saying it because you don't. You'll be like, holy shit, I'm six feet tall. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm six feet tall. A week later, hey, so remember how you said you were six feet tall? I would never say that. That's so stupid. And you're just like, fuck you, Gemini. Why are you lying? I'm very confused by you. I don't get it. Cancer. You have like a fucking victim mentality. Everything bad happens to you. Oh, my life sucks. Everybody was so mean to me. People just take and take and take. Well, guess what? You're 30 fucking years old. Grow the fuck up. You're no longer that victim. You don't have to be. Did you know that bad shit happens to everybody, but you're the only one that crawls in a hole and wants to die? gosh, all these bad people go away. Why do bad people want to hurt me? I'm just so good. and I'm just sitting here. And Why do you get to have that? And I don't get to have that. I don't know because people fucking work for it. People work for their shit. You sit around hoping people give it to you. So Leo, I love Leos. I always say I love Leos and because Leos are loyal. They're friendly. And then that one remark that I made about something that I'm good at that maybe you're not as good at. It's like something I have. Isn't that cool? You should be proud of me. No, because of one one thing I said, and you all of a sudden feel like every evil thing you do to me is justified. No, Leo, nothing you do against somebody who hurts your ego is justified. I don't give a shit how important your ego is to you. Get over yourself. Yes, protect your ego, but when somebody says the truth, don't get so caught up in your own ego, you can't see it. Virgo. You're a fucking mess. On the inside, on the outside, hair's a mess, everything's crazy. You spend hours on yourself and you just look like a normal human and it's because you're such a mess. And it starts in here. But instead of fixing it up here, you fix everybody else around you. It's like in the Lego movie, like the micromanagers who come and fix all the Legos before they put the craggle all over them. That's you. You're fucking micromanaging the people around you to suit your needs, to make you feel normal and sane. But you're not. You have to fix what's up here and the rest will follow. Libra. After one year trying to decide whether or not you want to go to Taco Bell or McDonald's, you finally chose Burger King. Now we're all supposed to just fucking swoon? Why? Because you uttered a declarative sentence for the first time in your life? So you made a decision. Do you want a fucking medal? Do you want a piece of cake? You don't get cake for acting like a grown-ass fucking adult. I declared. Everybody listen to me because it's got to be the truth if I figured it out. Well, 
I'm sorry, the only thing that that does is prove that you don't like to be wrong. And that's what makes you self-righteous. Scorpio, you think everyone should be a mind reader. So when somebody hurts you, do you tell them? No. You wallow in your own pain and misery and shut yourself in your room in your darkness and despair and get fucking pissed off and plan your revenge. Well, guess what? If somebody hurts you, you need to tell them because we're not fucking mind readers. We don't know why. And it's not because we're stupid. And we're not stupid because we haven't figured out a way to turn ourselves into little spiders, crawl in your ears, and go around in your brain and figure out what's going on in there. I guarantee you, they were not being mean. They were not being vindictive and they were not trying to be hurtful. The fact that you think everybody is says something about yourself. Sagittarius, you're fucking hothead. You're all fine and friendly and nice and then something doesn't happen, a little chink in your system and get so angry and heated because everybody around you is just so fucking stupid and you can't handle it. Well, guess what? People are stupid, but so are you. Nobody gives a shit about your little world like you do. That's the issue. If you want people to give a shit, don't get mad at them for being stupid. Explain your shit to them. Explain your system to them. Then they'll understand it, and then they'll be happy, and we'll all be happy. Capricorn, I know that you have to work really hard, but stop shoving it in my face. A lot of people work really hard. Some people are lazier than others. Whining and bitching and complaining doesn't make you look good. And you don't think you're better than everybody. So stop acting like you are. Stop saying it. Hey, I'm better than everybody. I'm too good for this. I'm too good for where I'm at. Dude, get over yourself. You're like offending people. And I know, like a Capricorn wants nothing to do with me until I have something that they want. So why don't you try being a friend? Because this whole status shit that you do is fucking incredibly stupid and it's hurtful. Aquarius, you really do think that you're entitled to the space of the world, that everything you have to say is just really important and I should stop and I should listen. Yeah, because you took time out of your busy schedule to make sure that I know, I know personally what's wrong with me. Well, guess what? What's wrong with you? You just spent so much time looking at other people. I can save you. I'm weird. You're all normal. I'm just going to tell you what's wrong with you and I can go on living like the fucking king of the fucking original dipshits like I am. All it does is it makes everybody realize how fucking annoying you are and how much everybody wants to punch you in your face. And you're like, oh, I don't care. I'm just living the dream. Well, sometimes you're a piece of shit. Pisces, you escape so much from life and it's annoying. Maybe you don't realize you're doing it. Maybe because you're so out here in this weird creative subconscious world that you live in. Some of you cope with drugs. Some of you cope with religion. Some of you go so hardcore into work, you become fucking workaholics. And don't raise your children and leave it to your spouse. And I hate that about you. How big of a fucking escapist you are. There's a real life here. And it's about balance. Don't pick one thing and go hardcore in it because I promise you, you will get lost. So anyway, that's what I hate about every sign. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you hated this video, please subscribe to my channel. Also, you can like me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. Those are linked below this video. Once you really dig into astrology and you kind of know what I'm actually talking about, maybe you can look inside of yourself and see that every one of these things I hate is not only inside of me, but it's inside of you too. That's what this is all about. <laughs>